The orange flesh sweet potato, also known as a pomiding, is a variety of potato with great health and economic benefits. Casa de Ropa, a company and a government one district one factory, produces bread, chips, cakes, and biscuits from the fresh roots of the orange flesh sweet potato. As remarked by His Excellency, that they will give us all the necessary support because what we need now is the support to replicate what we are doing here nationwide because when we are talking about bread bread is consumed by every Ghanaian bread is consumed by every Ghanaian and the basic ingredient of bread as you know is flour because Ghana does not produce its own composite flour wheat as the base material we import now what Casa de Europa want to do or have started doing already is to change this dynamics on the ground so strategically we are positioning ourselves to grow a locally produced orange fresh sweet potato and fancy for friend santum many farmers particularly women in the gomua west district have all become potato farmers overnight because of the prospect of the crop the company has employed close to 150 of such hands the farmers say their economic circumstances have begun changing. I am a the job we used to do was cutting trees and burning them into charcoal. Thank God this potato job has come here. We pray the company thrives so we can support our family. <laughs> Ever since this job came here, we've been encouraged. We are not working. Now we can support the education of our children. This job has been of immense help for us. The farm size of about 700 acres lies here with two dams constructed to keep the farm running all year round. Anthony Dosanamua is a technical manager here at Casa de Ropa. We're using the sprinkler system, but obviously that's inadequate. So we currently have ordered, which has, will arrive next Monday, a central pivot system. That can do 50 acres yeah, over a six-hour period. So what that means, we're getting two of them. That means we can do 100 acres at any given six-hour, 12-hour period. Potato is a three month uh, crop cycle yeah so within the fourth month we are sort of harvesting uh, we call it the treasure bill crop the factory is yet to be completed and commissioned but they are already in business they produce sweet tasty bread pie chips and other products without the addition of sugar Ebnizobi Bafo is the CEO of Casa de Ropa. So once we begin to process and expand, then it means that a lot more people have to grow this crop called the sweet potato, the orange fresh version, which have the vitamin A component necessary for children growth. And as a result, one, there's economic benefit for everyone. We are a substituting imported flour with a local produced raw material. We are cutting down on the consumption of refined sugar. What we are talking about here is a refined sugar. We know Ghana does not produce its own refined sugar. Therefore, we import up to about $400 million of refined sugar for bread, biscuits, meat by others. President Akufuado, who heard of the success story of the potato processing factory, paid them a visit during his tour of the central region. The president gave the company thumbs up for the lives they are already affecting. The president and Taraj were amazed at the prospect of the factory that falls under the one district one factory. The visit turned into a feast with everybody grabbing either chips or bread. My name is Tom van Maurik. I work for the International Potato Center. I'm the country manager for the International Potato Center in Ghana. And my family has been loving the crisps that, they, that they've been producing. And I've been begging them to get more, produce more, so I can actually buy it in a shop somewhere. And now there's hope that one day I will find it in the supermarket and I'll be able to buy it. 
Yusuf Ochri is a technology and innovation manager of Casa di Ropa. He says the factory that is scheduled to be commissioned by the end of the year is a game changer that ought to be supported. Casa Youth Fampreneurs is a mentorship program where five or three graduates who are committed and want to go into farming as business are put together. And then they register their company. And we, the Casa di Ropa picks a small interest in it. Then we share our technology, our recipe, everything with them. Through this, we can replicate what we are doing here throughout the country because we cannot be everywhere. So it's not a franchise, but it's going to be a partnership to share ideas and to mentor them for them to know that you can be educated and also take farming as a business. Before leaving the factory, the president directed the trade and industry minister, Alan Chermantin, to attend to all the needs of the factory to enable them fulfill their mandates. Richard Kwejo Joy News, Cape Coast.